sometimes, but I also love it. Uh, my whole soul, my uh, all of it, you know, my yep. whole body. All right, let's talk about these guys for a little bit. We got Nick M. Whittier yes. and, uh, Nick and, Witt. and Alvin L. Nguyen. Versus Mango and Lucky. Mango and Lucky in losers. Yep. After losing to, to uh, what I was think it? it was MACD and Leffen? No, 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 no. No, no, no. That was oh, a, they no, no. Lost Armada. They lost a few, they lost lost a few fat. They lost a few fat, yes. They lost a few fat. We are jumping right into this on Dreamland. Here we go. Okay. All right. All right. Now, uh, Nicholas is the, the lone falcon. This can yeah, be very stressful yeah. uh, in, a, in a stage with three foxes. Okay, I just want to say before we get super, super into this, but what happened to Mango saying he would go falcon in general? I think he said after Evo. Oh, after Evo? Or That's maybe at Evo. Oh, I, I don't think he said that. I think okay, he wants okay. to go for the three piece. Okay. So I got it. I got it. Yeah. We might we might not have that much longer to see uh, Mango Fox. I think he might want to try to start winning with uh, other characters. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's known for that. I mean, once his puff had that long dominant reign, he started switching up to Falco, and then his Falco had a little bit of a reign, yep. and he went to Fox. And uh, just to see the player ports here a little bit, I think I think Mango is Mango is one. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think Mango's won. Are you yes. sure? I mean, do you think Lucky would uh, do a scar no. yeah, okay, tag? You're, you're right, you're right, you're right. I, right, I think I'm back. Okay, I think Mango's, Mango's, Mango's Weezer are a little bit weird. It's very hard for me to tell whether it's player yeah, one it or is. player it's, four. It's not facing me either, so it's a little hard to see. But yeah. Okay, well. Mango holding stock then. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that up B. <laughs> the Sakurai uh, pressure. Sakurai shield pressure. <laughs> You know, Alvin, uh, Alvin and Nick, they basically got here taking out homemade waffles and uh, Alvin. In really? A, in a really impressive, That's quite in an impressive 2-0. It was not even close. Like, wow. They have some really great team synergy. They've been teaming for a long time now. So, I um, I wonder if some of that has to do with uh, Alan being a TO for this event. Um, yeah, it could be. But it could be. Nick M. Whittier is also a team specialist. He is. He, he, is. he specifically like writes guides for teams. Uh, teams play doubles play in, in melee. That's seen on MYOM before. So, you know, he loves his teams, man. What can I say? Ooh, that's a lot of shines. Yeah. Lucky going in with those shines, those multi shines. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. I got a shield. Great use of shield. Ooh. Oh, okay. Misses the shine spike right there. Wow, they're doing like, really well. Yeah, well, it's a couple mistakes right will do that for you, you know? Yeah, I guess one of the best teams of all time. Yep. Yeah, I definitely think this is one of the most legendary teams. Right. Most prolific, if you want to say. Right. But uh, they actually haven't been doing so well in the modern era. That's true, that's true. All right. Okay, a little bit of back air pressure from uh, L. Ooh, nice. That's a perfect back air there. Yep. This could be a clean up here, but okay. You see a little bit of save uh, from the Dark Fox. Ooh. Did you just oh. hold the edge? Oh, oh no, he kicks good Nick. Save. He kicks NMW instead, tries to go out and save him. Okay, oh. Who was that that got the back air? That was, that Mango, was Mango, huh? Yeah. Mango got the back air on both the characters. That was so unfortunate. Oh my goodness. All right. These people are playing for, I think, fifth? They're playing for Actually, fifth. Mango, I think he's Dark Fox. Okay, see? Because he just he just wiped his hands on his uh, knee. Okay, okay, yeah. Right so, after he got knee. So I did look at the ports correctly. So Mango is Dark. Oh my god, there's a double shine. Oh, that is it. Oh my Why goodness. would Lucky put the Scar tag on? I really don't know. You know what? I'm going to ask him that. You can ask him that. Joey. 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 <laughs> he just goes, yeah, why not? <laughs> All right. His answer to me was, why not? Yeah, why not? I can think of a million reasons why not. I, I can think of a million reasons why not, too. Yes. Yeah. I mean... Uh, you'll never catch the blur rock and scar time. <laughs> <laughs> never in my life. Okay. All right, here we go. Back to Dreamland. You know, um, Nick M. Witt and uh, L, they did counterpick this against... Oh, no, sorry. They did strike to this for game one versus Allen and homemade waffles as well. So, you know, they really like the stage for doubles. Like, Nick Whittier really likes the space. He likes to dash dance around and, like, kind of look for his openings then. And um, the space kind of opens it up for, like, a lot of one-on-one -on -one play. But I feel like versus Mango and Lucky, you won't be able to win the one-on-ones necessarily. But, it, you know, it, it's just a stage preference. I guess he really likes the stage, so... That's all I have to say. About I it. think they did well, game one. Yeah, they really did. I mean, a few things, went, uh, a few more things went their way. They, they yeah, had they had two socks. They had four socks and four at one point. Yep. They they had a they caught a lucky break with like 
you know, lucky illusioning off stage, and uh, but you know, kind of caught an unlucky break when they got this double back air off stage, trying to save each other. So, Ooh, oh, I thought Ooh. Alvin was gonna go for a shine spike right there, but uh, no, that was a beautiful option coverage, and they're yeah. up a stock. He's like, I trust my partner to cover that option. I'm just gonna hang on the ledge. Right I'm here. getting to see how this team beat uh, homemade waffles and Allen now. Yeah, they're really good. They really got some good team synergy. Both these players are actually ranked in NorCal as well. So, you know, let's not uh, let's not. Uh, not taking out their, their level of skill. So, yep. Alright, up these all the way up. Nice. Gets back it. Oh, really solid cleanup by Lucky right there. Lucky. Playing out of his mind right now. Ooh, some pressure on Nicholas and Whittier. Yeah. Ooh, oh, the ah, grab missed you right there, yeah. Ooh, Nick all missing the sweet spot on the knee right there. Had an opportunity to clean out Mango Stock. All right. Nick is jumping here a lot. Ooh, he won't okay. be able to follow that up. Yeah, unfortunately Mango is at too high of a percentage right there. Ooh, Mango refreshes his invincibility, gets the kill on Elvin. And they don't get a kill on Nicholas there. Yeah, they don't. Nick makes it back. Oh no, the get up attack knocks him off stage. Oh my god, The get up attack is about to yeah. kill Oh, okay. Oh, no. okay. On the other side of the stage, though, Fox going in. Oh, uh, oh my God! Alvin kind of panicking right there with the with the air dodge up, and you know, Mango's like, I, I'm not having any of that. This is so. This is such a weird oh game. My God. We saw we saw uh, them have a five stock uh, to four lead, yeah, and that, and then it became a five stock to one lead. You know, four straight stocks by Blue Team. Oh, there we go. That was a quick. Two to zero. Our winners. It was quick, but it was competitive, honestly. It and was, it was. And uh, I think a Red Team just had a momentum swings. Like they couldn't keep up with their own level of play. Like when they when they were playing well, they were actually keeping up just fine. But they had dips in in, in their play, uh, and Mango Lucky don't stop. Yep, they don't stop. Alright guys. Well, True and Armada just ended. Yeah, we got a handshake. I think uh, Armada yeah. won. I think Armada won 3-0. Yeah. So Ooh. That's that's hard to watch, man. Like, yep. you want on? Okay, all right. We got Nick and with the Actually, no, the wait, doubles. Oh, okay, the, the double specialist. He's gonna hop on commentary later. Later. Well, I, I think he really wants to commentate doubles top eight. Yeah. So, yeah. He really wants. Is to doubles all gonna be on here, or we're gonna see someone? I'm up there? I'm not sure. I think I think we're gonna put like grand finals of doubles on mainstream at least, if not winners and losers finals. So right now we're like in the bracket. If you guys type exclamation mark bracket, you guys can check out all the brackets there. There's singles. Round two pools, brackets, and then uh, singles. All the pools are up there as well, as well as the doubles bracket. So you guys can check it out. All right, I need to update this uh, this overlay real quick, and then we'll hop right into it. Mm -hmm. We got West Balls and Delphiki coming up. Uh, do you want to tell me that Armada 3-0 Troom's Marth? Um, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it uh, that I think uh, Troom's Sheik is a significant step up over his Marth. Yeah, I'm surprised he stuck I'm, to I'm so surprised stubbornly too. there. Though I do think the Marth Fox matchup is a, is a lot easier than the Sheik Fox one. But having said that, it doesn't seem to matter. All right, the Sheik uh, is just better. I'm trying to see where we are in the bracket, but yeah, we have Delphiki now. Oh, Delphiki and West Balls—they are in losers round five of their pool. Yes, West Balls okay. lost to Shrew. Uh, I don't know who Delphiki lost to, but. Uh, he is the hero of yesterday's uh, crew battles. He did extremely oh, well yeah, against that was uh, the Santa Cruz team. Uh, took out uh, three of PPU stocks, incredibly important. Um, and then in the finals against UCI, UC Irvine, the favorite to win it all, he went ham. He just took out um, Stab and Lil Fumi back to back, dominating that crew battle. Yeah. Well, there was a little bit of a friendly trash talk between the two crews, but you know, Berkeley. Uh, I want to say Honestly, no one thought Berkeley was definitely, win. definitely the underdogs. Like one, but not just the underdogs. They yeah. were the heavy, underdogs. heavy underdogs. Yeah, even, so. even when I mean, UCI should have had Connor on their crew, who didn't show uh -huh. up today. Yeah, that's right. But even without him, him everyone picked uh, Berkeley to lose. They picked UCI to win. Yep. Even without their best player, they thought UCI is just two stacks. Yeah. And uh, is Connor really their best player? Yeah, so. Or Fumi. Well, Fumi. I, I, don't, I think Fumi, Fumi or Stab. Oh, yeah, yeah, they have stab, so many. They have so many. That, that's how stacked it was. It makes no sense that they lost. It's mind-blowing.